Hi guys. So I wanted to share some visions of the sky that I've been having. And I have my screen right here so you can see. So one of the visions was I was shown three stars in the sky. And here was one star. Here was another star. And here was another star. And they were twinkling in the night sky. I just drew these lines in here. And I remember the position of them because it made like an obtuse um, triangle. I think it's called an obtuse. And they were really low on the horizon. <clears throat> and they were glittering in the sky. And I don't know what that means. Just sharing it. And then... Let's see. And then I was shown this. So here we have the horizon. Let's see. Here's the horizon. And then low in the horizon, there was three stars. But their position had moved. So moved or they were different kind of a thing to look for. One, two, three. And now they weren't so obtuse, but they were kind of more lined up, but not so perfect as I put them here. They might have been a little one over this way or something, or a little bit more down. And then, let me go back here. More. Then I was just shown like one. And it was at dawn or dusk on the horizon. And then, let's see. Oh, I was shown this. So, okay. So, one small one, one shaped like a globule, I would say. And here's the horizon. So I just put this as an example, but actually it was two visions. The first vision, I saw one twinkling in the night sky in the east. In the east. And then I realized I looked the other way in the west and I saw this. It, I knew it was a star, but it was like, I don't know how to explain it, like a shiny star that was reaching, you know, just kind of like, I like to just explain it like a globule, like it's kind of like radiating out, like bigger than this one right here, like flaring, I would say, kind of like a flare. And they were both low on the horizon. Now, some of you that watch these videos say, well, that's astrology, and that's that, and that's this, and that's the other thing, and that's wicked and bad. Actually, no, it's astronomy. And astronomy is actually used through scripture. And even in Jewish um, history, they go out and look um, for the new moon and things like that. And God said he would put these things in the heavens for signs for us. And even in the last days. And um, um, yeah, there's even scripture talking about Orion, uh, constellation in the sky. And there was another one too that was mentioned. I can't remember. Ladies. So, um, yeah, it's not like, you know astrology you know this that and the other thing it's astronomy and it is a science okay and God is the biggest scientist he created all these things so um, you know in the past I've gotten kind of backlash about well you know God doesn't show things about moons and stars and things that so you're doing astrology but this is astronomy so you know we're not using this base to see what type of food we like or if we're going to get married or not, you know, this is like science. So <laughs> anyway, so, um, I wanted to share this with you guys. And also too, I've had more visions, another vision of like, 
um, more people's faces um, and people's eyes. And what else? Oh, another um, vision of a, I think I already mentioned this in my last video, but of an alien and, you know, laugh or whatever. But if you were here years back following kind of like our gray circle, a uh, dream kind of circle, um, and even, I don't, re I don't know if you guys remember freaking over Jesus, Chanda, she had dreams, um, of like alien spacecraft in the sky. And also too, about the wheel within the wheel that she came out, she heard the trumpets blow and she came out and looked in the sky and she saw, first she saw an alien craft or something like that. And then it's, she saw what she would explain and what she would know to be or perceived as the wheel within the wheel. I believe that was her. And one was, it was massive and it had people's names written on it. And it, one was spinning one way and one was spinning the other way. And that is talked about in scripture as well. The wheel within the wheel. So, um, yeah. So I wanted to share this with you guys. And there were a lot of people saying, well, you know, when the rapture happens, they're going to try to say aliens abducted people or, you know, the spacecraft took them or something like that. I don't know. But we know that that we rose to meet the Lord in the air and it was wasn't aliens or anything like that. So but anyway, I'm doing good. And um, the update on my case right now with my kids. I don't know if you've been watching my videos, but they have decided to continue reunification services because I moved out and I'm living alone and just doing what I could do and going through my programs and things like that. And, um, it's tough and everything. And, and I still ask for help. Yes, I do. Because God told me in a dream, he said, it is my will that you ask for help. And it meant financial help. So I, if there's anybody that could still help, and I thank those that, um, that have helped me and I, it's much appreciated, appreciated. And if you could, still could help, my PayPal is always pinned in the comments and any other comments you want to make about these, uh, dreams and stuff. I enjoy hearing about your dreams, pieces, a puzzle. Me and sister Sherry call it puzzle pieces pieces to the puzzle and we are in the last days and we wait and we watch we watch for God to peel back the sky and um, you know that's we are in the times we're in the last days and I've always said it we're in the last seconds now what that looks like in God's timing you know if it if if a second is like you know 24 hours to God I don't know but we are. We're coming down the home stretch. But anyway, I love you guys and God bless.